In this video, we are going to discuss the functions of the data link layer in the TCP IP protocol model. The data link layer is the second layer of the TCP IP model and is also referred to as layer 2. As its name suggests, it handles the communication of data over a single link. It has four main functions in data communication, framing, error control, flow control, and medium access control. As with other layers, there are particular names for data units, devices, and addresses in the data link layer. The unit of data is called a frame, which is a stream of bits packed in a frame. Hub and switch are layer 2 devices that connect devices in a LAN. Layer 2 address is called MAC address, which is a universally unique address assigned to network interface controllers for communication within a LAN. MAC addresses are assigned by device manufacturers and is also referred to as hardware address. The most popular protocols that act in layer 2 are Ethernet, which is used in wired LANs, and Wi-Fi, which is the protocol of wireless LAN. Layer 2 is responsible for single hub communications within a network segment, such as a local area network. It handles the transmission of frames from one end of a link to the other end. Layer 2 is a reliable layer which can detect and correct errors in frames. For error detection, algorithms such as parity, checksum, and cyclic redundancy check CRC, are used. And for error correction, forward error correction FEC, is implemented within the protocols of Layer 2 such as Ethernet and Wi-Fi. So with these functionalities, layer 2 can guarantee the correct and in-order delivery of frames to their destinations. This rule does not apply to other layers, such as network layer, which is a best effort layer. The network layer does its best to deliver packets to their destinations correctly, but sometimes it fails, which leads to packet loss and faulty packets. Contrary to the network layer, which has a global responsibility, the data link layer has a local responsibility. Layer 2 can connect nodes within a LAN. If a node wants to communicate with another node in a different network, the data link layer will turn over the task to the network layer and its devices such as router. Link layer has algorithms to control the flow of data between two devices that work at different speeds. For example, a slow PC with limited memory space and low processing power may not be able to handle data transmitted by a fast server in a LAN. Flow control protects such slow devices from being overwhelmed by fast senders. The other responsibility of the data link layer protocol such as Ethernet, is to determine the order in which nodes transmit their data on a shared channel. Most LANs use shared medium link in which multiple nodes compete to access the link. Without medium access control, nodes may transmit at the same time, which result in a collision. When two frames collide, both will be destroyed and they will need to be retransmitted. Collision and retransmission will waste time and bandwidth, which are the main resources of a network in data communication. This picture shows two LANs at Ball State University and Purdue University. Nodes within the BSU LAN can communicate with Ethernet, which is a layer 2 protocol, and internal devices such as hub or switch. But internetwork communication is done with IP protocol and router which is a layer 3 device. 